Hi everyone, welcome to another week for Roth's Q&A. My name is Rodrigo and today I'm going to answer this question that I found on Roth's Answers in which this guy is trying to download a gazebo world from GitHub. So he explains that he wants to open up the gazebo simulation provided in GitHub that's called AWS Robomaker Small Warehouse World and then he explains the steps that he tried to uh, do in order to open it um, and he's having trouble. This is a really simple, um, quick video and but it's really useful because in here you can use all of the resources that GitHub is providing you in order to open up, I don't know how many, but hundreds of simulations that are, are available on, on GitHub. So the first thing I want to do is to try and find this repository. So I'm just going to look it up on Google and it comes up right away. And I hope this is the correct um, repository that this person was talking about and I'm sure it is. So I'll go ahead and click this green button and copy the URL here with this button for um, in order for us to be able to download it in our workspace. Um, so to do this, we're gonna go to the constructsim.com, which is our platform for ro robotics development. You can hit login and create an account if you don't have one. And um, you can go ahead and go to my Rosjects button here on the left and create one over here in this red button over it, sorry. Um, and we're gonna set it to Ross Melodic and we can name it Gazebo World from GitHub. It's a good name. And for the description, I'm just gonna add the question that BG22 had. Just put it here, we're gonna make it private and just hit create. And over here you can see that it was created. So we can just hit run. And while it's loading, let me show you our website, which is the constructsim.com, which is just a great platform to learn robotics. And whether you're a beginner or an advanced programmer, you can go to the construct and take over 50 robotics courses in order for you to develop your skills. So you can make a free account. So I recommend you guys check it out. So we're gonna go back to our Rostec, which is loaded already. And we can just close this because we don't need this right now. And we're gonna open up a web shell over here in this button. So it's opened up, we're gonna make it a little bigger and we're gonna clone our our GitHub repository. Now, I think this is where the confusion came from. In, in BG22 is a beginner and he tried to follow up the instructions that were described in the repository. So if you go to this repository that I opened up, you'll see that sometimes people add a, well, they should add a readme page, which kind of tells you a little bit about the repository. And in this case, it's from Amazon and it's telling you how to build and launch the Gazebo world applications. And it tells you commands like, um, using ROSDEP install and ROSWS update and things like that. And it correlates with what this BG22 tried to do. He tried to update his ROS install file and run ROSWS update, but he gets an error. And since he's a beginner, this is difficult for him. And I'm gonna tell you BG22, this is normal because this isn't exactly the beginner's way of launching your gazebo simulation. 
what I would recommend you is to do the following. Not to follow these um, instructions, um, but to just create a Kafkaian workspace and to clone your repository there and just uh, launch the simulations from there. I'm going to show you how to do that. And if you don't know how to make a, a Kafkaian workspace, there's a tutorial from ros.org which is called Create a Workspace. And it tells you how to just make your um, Kafkaian workspace. This is assuming you have ROS installed uh, already in your computer. So if you don't know how to do it, just follow this these steps and you'll be able to run your simulations from your Catkin workspace. Um, so like I said, I'm going to clone this repository and into our workspace and run it from there as opposed to following this confusion, uh, confusing, sorry, confusing um, instructions that might give you weird errors that you might not know how to solve if you're a beginner. Um, so over here, we're just gonna go into our workspace. In this case, it's our simulation workspace and inside our SRC folder. And we're gonna type in git clone and paste the URL that we had copied from here. This one right here, remember? So we're just gonna paste it. And then we can just type in c dot dot cd dot dot uh, and cat can make to compile. Just wait until it compiles. There you go. Um, and we can source our workspace with this command source devil slash setup dot bash. And finally, we can type in rossback profile. And from here, you'll see if you go inside the SRC folder. Uh -oh. So I don't know why it didn't. We're just going to try that again. There you go. So I don't know what happened before. Uh, so if you type in ls, you'll be able to see that this is the repository that you just downloaded from GitHub, which contains those simulations. Um, so since the cloning last time didn't really work, we're just going to do those steps again. We're going to compile again. source our workspace and run Rustback profile. So now we can pretty much work with everything that this repository has. So in order to do that, what I like to do in case there are gazebo simulations or any kind of launch files that repositories have, I just type in ROS launch and the name of the package. So it's AWS RoboMaker and you can type in, you can hit tab and it auto completes for you. And that way you'll know that everything's loaded correctly because sometimes it's not and it won't auto complete with if you hit tab. So that's a good way to check that everything's correct. So now we can hit tab again and you'll see all of the launch files that these that this repository has. In this case, you can see that it has three and they're all warehouses. So we can safely assume that these are the gazebo simulations that are, um, you can see right here in this repository. So we're going to go ahead and launch one. Um, We'll do the one that's called view small warehouse dot launch. And here you'll see, I can see an error here. 
that talks about an open audio device, which probably is related to if different functionalities that Gazebo had, has. Um, but since, I mean, I've never used audio in a simulation, but so I'm guessing it's not a huge error. So we're just gonna take a look. And if you can see here to open Gazebo, if you're not working within this, uh, the construct sim, Gazebo will just open up automatically. But since we're working here and it's way better for debugging and just learning overall, um, it tells you to go to tools Gazebo and the tools bar is right down here. And this is the Gazebo button. Um, so we're gonna hit it. Sometimes it takes a while to load. And in that case, you can hit this refresh button. But as you can see, that's all we had to do. And you already have the simulation here. We can just zoom out. It's a big warehouse, even though it's a small. So you can see here's the here's the warehouse. A good trick when this when these things happen, uh, you can just right click on the on the body and you can make it transparent. So there you go. You can make these two transparent. And there you go. You have already your Gazebo simulation from the downloaded repository. Like I said, this ver this way of doing it is sort of bulletproof when there's gazebo simulations because you can just clone it into your workspace and just type in ROS launch and see what's in there that they added and if not you can just create a, your own launch file but that's <laughs> that's for another video this was just to uh, show uh, RG22 RB22 how to uh, find how to open up the simulation correctly and if you go back to the web shell, you can create a new tab. You can see all of the nodes that are running, um, the ROS nodes, by just typing ROS node list. Here you go. You can see that Gazebo is running. And a good thing I always do is to list the topics to see what you can work with. Um, this one is just a a warehouse but you can perfectly you can add a robot model in here and just have just a platform for you to start playing around with it and and see develop whatever you want so there you go that's the quickest easiest way of opening a gazebo simulation um, from um, our ROS development studio. Thank you. I hope this was useful for you and we'll see you guys next week for our next video. Bye bye.